MTRCB versus Netflix. Can the MTRCB regulate Netflix? Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm Dean Rod Vera. I'm an intellectual property lawyer, a copyright advocate, a law school dean, and an entertainment lawyer. Today, I will talk about whether the MTRCB can oversee, review, or even rate the programs in Netflix. If you're new to my channel, click like and subscribe and the notification bell so you'll know when I post new videos. Here, I post videos on legal commentaries and law school advice. Today, I will talk about the MTRCB versus Netflix. The MTRCB is a law created by a presidential decree number 1986. This was enacted in 1985, a year before the Ed Sullivan Revolution, and it was crafted, written, enacted by one person, then President Ferdinand Marcos. Before we get into the, what the law is, we have to know that every law in the Philippines have to, are emanating or emanate or are controlled by the Constitution. Our Constitution provides the freedom of expression right to every person in this country, meaning everybody can say what they want, film what they want, as long as they're in the bounds of the law. One of the ways to limit a constitutional right, especially for the freedom of expression, is a principle called clear and present danger. One of the examples of that principle is you cannot shout fire in the movie house. That will create a clear and present danger to create chaos and maybe hurt somebody. The MTCRB is a law that in effect, indirectly, or maybe even directly, curtails the freedom of expression with regards to movies and television programs. So, since it is a law that regulates a constitutional right, it must be construed against it. The powers of a regulatory law must be scrutinized very carefully. It must be specific to make sure it doesn't make a left or right turn. Now, let's look at the powers of the MTRCB. Under Section 3 of the Powers and Functions, it states to screen, review, examine all motion pictures herein defined television programs including publicity materials such as advertisements, trailers, and stills, whether such motion picture or publicity materials be for theatrical or non-theatrical distribution, for television broadcast, or for general viewing. As you can see, the mediums where the MTRCB can regulate are motion pictures and television programs. Both of these are shown in Netflix. So, round one to MTRCB. But the round is not over, meaning that the MTRCB limits itself only to movies and television programs. It does not regulate video on demand platforms that are available in, inter in the internet. Because number one, it was not contemplated in the law when it was written in 1985. It never provided a provision to include mediums as what the phrase says, now or later developed. Another power granted to the MTRCB is to approve or disapprove, delete objectionable portions from and or prohibit the importation, exportation, production, copying, distribution, sale, lease, exhibition, and or television broadcast of the motion pictures and television programs. Again, it can review or in this case rate movies and television programs so in effect that's the power that the MTRCB can have over movies and television programs another power granted to the MTRCB is letter D to supervise regulate and grant deny or cancel permits for the importation exportation production copying distribution sale lease of television programs and publicity materials. This is where I think the MTRCB is trying to regulate Netflix because it says they can supervise and regulate and grant permits. So what they want, they want Netflix to ask for a permit for all their shows and movies that are streamed over their platform. Do you think the MTRCB has the manpower to do such things? I doubt it. A specific power granted to the MTRCB is in letter E of section 3. It states to close movie houses and other similar establishments engaged in the public exhibition of motion pictures and television programs which violate the act and the rules and regulations promulgated by the board 
pursuant hereto. So, they have the power to shut down or close movie houses that don't obtain MTRCB permits for their movies. And they can also shut down TV programs, but not the TV station, for programs that didn't get their permit or have exhibited or showed violations of their rules. They have done this in the past. They have suspended a television program, a noontime show, because one of the judges insulted the guests or at the same time they also uh, stopped or suspended a game show because they disrespected and uh, made lewd acts against the minor. The ultimate power of the MTRCB is in section 7. It states, it shall be unlawful for any person or entity to exhibit or cause to be exhibited in any movie house, theater, or public place, or by television within the Philippines, any motion picture, television program, or publicity materials when it's not authorized by the board or past the board ratings. So, this is where the ultimate control comes to the MTRCB. Because if you violate their rules by showing or broadcasting a program that has not passed their review, they consider that a crime. As they said, it is unlawful. But the law here states that they can only control or their jurisdiction is over movie houses and television programs, not video on demand platforms that are on the or available on the internet. This was not contemplated in the law. This whole started when their chief of their legal division or legal department went on a congressional hearing to state that there should be some regulation over video on demand services or platforms such as Netflix. That caused a whole uproar from everybody. I myself have posted that the MTRCB cannot exercise its jurisdiction over the internet because the law does not allow it. The MTRCB may have good intentions. They have the power to make sure that what is available for viewing is within the public morals, the public good, it does not incite violence, it does not condone crime, it does not glorify violence. But these are modern times. I think for minors and children, it is the parents who are the best judge for what their children should or should not see. And as adults, we should make that own determination. The MTRCB is an outdated agency that needs a revamp. If the senators and congressmen want to write greater powers for the MTRCB, then that is their prerogative. But now, with the existing law, the MTRCB cannot oversee Netflix. They have announced that they will do post-review or post-rating. What are they gonna do? Give four out of five stars for the movies? In conclusion, before any amendment can be made, or at least in what the, how the law currently stands, the MTRCB cannot regulate Netflix. This is Dean Rod saying, it's not what you know, it's what they don't know. Goodbye.